Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Crack That Turning Problems into Solutions. This is me Priya Shadas and today I am up with day 18 of the Tisnet Crash Course series in which I will be dealing with questions related to the general knowledge and current affairs of sports. But before that, let me tell you about the Unacademy's Conquer VARC free test. You are going to give this test with me today, that is 18th of February and 21st of February, exactly live at 5 p.m. So don't forget to enroll into this completely free test using the link in the description box. Remember that this will take only 15 minutes of yours where you will be answering 10 questions and you would know how well you are prepared for the verbal ability section and the RC be using only these 10 questions. It will only utilize 15 minutes, so don't forget to enroll into it using my code PRIYASHA10. This is a completely free test, guys. The link of which you will find in the description box. And for the ones who are planning to go for any plus or iconic subscription of Unacademy, then this is the perfect time to do so because they have extended their Unlock 20 offer till February 19th, that is Saturday. So don't miss this offer because earlier you would be getting only 10% off. But if you use my code PRIYASHA10 right now, till February 19th, you would be getting 20% flat off on all the courses of Unacademy. That's a brilliant deal to take. So don't miss this deal, the links of which you will find in the description box. And now let's get our video started. Hello everyone, so let's get started with the day 18 crash course series of Tisnet where we'll be dealing with the sports related current affairs in static GK. So the first question on your screen related to the general knowledge of sports is from the field of cricket. So we need to have a look over it that my first category is cricket and when I say about cricket it's not just related to the fields but it can be questions related to the bat, ball, it can be questions related to the players, the trophies, okay, the titles, etc. So current affairs ki category mein kya fall kar sakta hai? That who has won this trophy in this year and etc, etc. And what can fall into the category of static GK? The questions related to bat, ball, fields, okay, questions related to the first player who did something, these all will fall into the category of static GK of cricket. So make sure when you're making notes for uh, the game cricket as a sport related to like current affairs and static GK, you're making these sections. Hamesha sections banana kafi fayde mand hota hai because that gives you a very well oriented approach towards uh, learning everything. All right. So we will start with our first question. Which country houses the historic cricket ground of broad half penny down? Bot famous uh, ground hai ye. Why is it uh, famous? First of all, where is it present? It's present in Hambledon, Hampshire. And Hambledon, Hampshire kaha hai? In England. Okay. So you can remember that it's in Hampshire. And why is it so important? Because it is called as the cradle of the cricket. Cradle of cricket. This is the term used for this field. Cradle kya hota hai? Cradle mein bachche rehte hai, right? You know that. So, yahan par bhi cradle of cricket is ground ko isi le kaha jata hai because since 18th century yahan par hum matches khelte aa rahe hai. Alright? So, therefore, it has been one of the oldest grounds and that's why it's called as the cradle of cricket or historic cricket ground. Broad half penny down and it's in England. Okay, question number two. Who holds the record for the most runs in all cricket world tournaments? So you see here again a, a genre of cricket but this time related to players. And this is static GK because I am talking about the one who has the record of the most runs. And he is an Indian and there is only one Indian in the option. So it's easy to guess. It's Sachin Tendulkar. Okay. And some information which you need to know about him is that he has been like scoring over 50s and more many score. Like, you know, if you can just Google it out, you can get the exact score also. But just wanted to tell you the classification. Like this is related to cricket. The same question can be asked related to the one who has won the maximum number of titles in badminton or the maximum number of titles in tennis. These kind of questions come up as the static GK for sports. So most runs or whatever genre, most titles, these are your things. These are the keywords. Please note it down because these will be the keywords with which you will search 
okay the more more and more questions and have a knowledge about it so just remember these terms okay these are the keywords i'm giving you so that you can search and have more questions to practice now the next question is question number 3 the term dolphic dolphin kick is associated with which of the following games all right so here again this category is specification okay specifications or i can also say the glossary of terms related to specific games okay so there is a dolphin kick in a one of these four games similarly we have duck in cricket similarly we have uh, many more terms in many other games like you can tell me one word which is related to tennis only guys in the comment section if you are watching this do let me know in the comment section a very specific term related to the game of tennis maybe especially if it to be more precise let me tell you when you don't score anything or something like that just like in cricket we have duck so there is one more term related to tennis you just try to find out or any term it's not necessary that there is only one term related to tennis there are many terms you can just come up with one in the comment section so coming back to the question dolphin kick what is dolphin kick and which is which game is it associated with it is associated with swimming basically it's a kicking movement okay which brings the swimmer forward okay and the legs are kicked backwards so it, the person moves forward and this is a specific term related to dolphin kick and dolphin kick actually comes under or is a part of the butterfly butterfly stroke only okay and we have heard about butterfly a lot okay so this is one of the uh, terms associated with swimming same so what will be the what will be the keyword with which you will search the google like search in google terms related to okay so you will say terms related to and then you can add up four or five sports name and then search it accordingly you can just go for famous terms also that will also be fine don't need to go into very much detail now question number 4 who was the first indian woman to get an olympic medal that's a great news like that's a great uh, question here because uh, might be people might not be knowing this or might confuse pt usha for the answer but she is not okay the correct answer for this question is option d that is karnam maleshwari karnam maleshwari is a retired indian weightlifter which genre did she get weightlifting okay she is a weightlifter i just pardon me for the spelling <laughs> weightlifter and she had won a bronze medal in sydney 2000 olympics so just remember that it she has got a bronze medal in which olympics in 2000 olympics which was held in sydney and what else do we know about her she has also won the uh, arjuna award in 1994 so just make a note arjuna award also and she has also got the khel ratna rajiv khel ratna award so rajiv khel ratna award in 1999 and guys one thing and she has also received padma shri but i don't remember the year in which she received padma shri but she received padma shri also now she is the first indian woman to get an olympic medal so that's a huge name you should know this karnam maleshwari and yeah one more very important thing that whenever we are dealing with people specifically like in current affairs section also you will come across many people related question like karnam maleshwari or pt usha saina mirza aarti saha if you want to google them just be specific to the first paragraph of wikipedia all the information will be enough okay which is present in the first paragraph of wikipedia no need to scroll down and down if you don't have time right if you have time in your hand and you have like one year for your preparation and you are preparing this for the next year then you can surely do that but if you are preparing as it's a crash course and i assume that the viewers are watching it for this upcoming tisnet examination on 26th or the cmat examination then please don't waste a lot of time reading the entire wikipedia article rather just be specific towards the first paragraph all right we have the fifth question for the static gk section who is the first indian rower to win a gold at the asian games in the year 2010 so 
first Indian to win a gold in Asian Games for rowing. Okay, the game is rowing. You know what rowing is? Rowing is sometimes actually called as crew also in the United States, and it's a sport of racing boats where you where you actually use oars. Like this is your boat and this is your oar, and you row across the rivers. And it differs actually a little bit from the paddling sports because. Uh, I'm not very much sure, but yeah, something like the oars are connected or attached to the boat or something. And rowing is divided into two specific uh, types of rowing. One is culling, and the other is sweep rowing. So just remember them them that there are two types of rowing. And this particular name, what will be the answer to the question? The answer to this question is Bajrang Lal Thakkar. Option B. He has won a gold medal, and he is the first individual to get a gold medal in rowing in Asian Games. Okay, and this was in 2010. Where was it held? This 2010 Games was held in Guangzhou. Okay, now Thakkar is a. He is also a Neb Subedar in Rajputana Rifles. Okay, so he is a part of Indian Army also. so just to note and yeah the other information which you can remember about him is that he actually was the like that's the question itself that he was the first indian rower to win the gold medal all right we have done five questions related to static gk and we have got various terms also with which we can search more and we can get the uh, access to more questions over the internet okay now coming to the next category which is sports related current affairs so the first question asks you who has clinched the miami open men's tennis title recently recently it took place in i guess 2021 and you need to tell me that who has got this uh, title right now so this title was taken up by option a hubert hukes Herkes, if I'll be specific, Hubert Herkes. What do we know about him? He is from Poland, and this Miami Open, okay, is tennis title. So yeah, one more section which I have not included in these question answers is the various tournaments. Okay, so you need to have a look over tournaments and the games with which the tournaments are associated. The names. they are really important and if you need my assistance in this do let me know i'll create another video where i'll be posting all the important games and the important tournaments uh, uh, which which are a part of that game okay so i will be doing that if you need that please let me know in the comment section and over here uh, we know that hubert is from poland and he has recently clinched the miami open men's title defeating janik sinner of italy so this option b was actually the runners up okay he was the second person okay and he is from italy and presently he is ranked as 37th in the world okay so the present rank of hubert is 37th in the world now question number 2 moving to question 2 who has become the first indian fencer to qualify for the tokyo olympic games i have tried to give you as diverse questions as possible because generally people when we talk about sports we are either restricted to cricket football or max to max tennis but when it comes to india and the questions related to the current affairs and static gk of the sports of india we need to have a varied okay varied or diverse set of knowledge because we have fencers we have rowers we have weightlifters who needs attention as well and this is the thing which the question paper setter thinks okay so that's why i am saying this that make a look over all these sports like who is the first indian fencer to qualify for tokyo olympics this made news in uh, like last year guys so she was bhavani devi okay she her, her full name is ca bhavani devi okay and she is a sabre fencer there are few there are types of fencer okay which type of fencer is she she is sabre fencer and she is the first indian fencer to ever qualify for the olympics after qualifying for 2020 summer olympics and presently she has been supported by go sports okay go sports is a sporting organization which is actually founded by uh, or funded by rahul gandhi or uh, not rahul gandhi i'm so sorry it's rahul dravid एथलीट मेंटरशिप प्रोग्राम इसके अंडर गो स्पोर्ट्स आता है एंड गो स्पोर्ट्स इन सारे लोगों को स्पॉन्सर करता है ओके नाउ 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फुटबॉल क्लब विन्स द फीफा वर्ल्ड कप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नाउ दीज फुटबॉल फ्रीक्स वुड बी नोइंग दिस आंसर वेरी इजिली सो आई क्विकली टेल यू दी आंसर इट्स ऑप्शन डी बेर इन मुनीच हम इसे एफ सी बी भी कहते हैं ओके बेर इन मुनीच एंड दिस वॉन दी फीफा टाइटल अगेंस्ट होम ओके इट वॉन अगेंस्ट यू ए एन एल बाई द स्कोर ऑफ वन जीरो ओके एंड यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दैट बाय विनिंग दिस फीफा वर्ल्ड कप Berin Munich became the second club in the European football history after Barcelona the first one was Barcelona and the second one is Berin Munich in the entire history jinhone kya kiya hai jinhone six titles jeet liye hain has won all the six titles and the person or not the person rather the team which wins all the six titles is called as sextuple okay so need remember this term okay and that too in a single calendar year that's very important so you get the title of sextuple only when you win all the six titles in a single calendar year and after barcelona we have berin munich which has done this in the history of european football now question number 4 who became the first indian male squash player to enter the top 10 in the psa world rankings again i tried to put some attention on the squash game as well and the first indian male to qualify or enter the top rankings okay top 10 rankings was saurav gosai okay i think it's not gosai but it's gosal okay saurav gosal so saurav gosal is a professional uh, a squash player okay from india who has reached the his best career high ranking okay at number 10 and this happened in 2019 only back then okay but then uh, he still managed to enter into the top 10 of the world so that's really a huge thing just need to remember that this name saurav goshal is related to squash now the next and the last question for the day is related to kamalpreet kaur who has been selected for the tokyo olympics in association with which game now she is associated with discus throw unhone kafi acha kaam bhi kiya tha and discus throw you know where we have a discus and we throw it to a larger distance and she is the first indian woman to breach the 65 meter barrier in the discus throw as well so she is the first woman please remember her and again she is also supported by go sports which is funded through rahul dravid athlete mentorship program her best performance came up when she finished 6th in the discus throw in tokyo olympics 2020 okay so she finished 6th she did not manage to get a medal but still she made a huge uh, you know mark in the history of india with relating like relating to discus throw all right so again before ending this video i like to tell you about what are the sections which i wanted to cover in this video but i didn't so i depending upon your response in the comment section i'll be making a video on it the first thing is the important tournaments related to the games okay so if you want you can search it on your own from google or else if you want me to make a video on it do let me know in the comment section the tournaments and the games okay related to each other and the second thing you need to search is the important names like just search for five important names in a particular game have a list of 5 to 10 games and then search five names which are famous in that particular game if you do like this you will see that your process of learning gk and current affairs will be more streamlined and you will be remembering stuff for a longer time compared to other so that was all about this video guys if you like this video please like this video share it with more and more people share it in all your whatsapp and telegram groups and any other group if you have and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to this channel i'll be up with more such videos till then please take care and thanks for watching